Okay, is everybody ready for round two? I was born ready. How about you, Cosmo? I'm ready when you are, Hobart. Well, Hobart and Cosmo from the one familiar VHS tape from Good Times home video titled Hobart and Cosmo. On the tracks are ready. Everyone else ready for the second round tonight? Ready. Ready. Born ready. All set for the scary THX story session. Ready when you are. Tales land. Ready. 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 Ready, as I am getting to be the sound person again tonight. We the Cyber Squad is ready as we are all taking a break from all that rescuing from the hacker, who is attempting to hack the motherboard. Well, Matt, I guess you're right. I am so ready. Me too. I cannot wait to hear the story Tales Land Alan Martinson is going to tell us. First of all, Digit, please don't use my full name next time. Second of all, Angela is right, she will be the sound person again for this scary story. Third of all, it's so nice to have the other Mia, the other Lucy, Tess, Lauren, Rex, and Kaylee to take a break from their phones, tablets, and laptop computers. Fourth of all, it's so nice to have Hobart, Cosmo, Matt, Inez, Jackie, and Digit take a break from what they usually do. Anyways, the rules are the same as last night, or part one. Without further ado, or any calls from motherboard via the SKWAK pop, let's begin. I'll go first. First of all, Digit, please don't use my full name next time. Second of all, Angela is right, she will be the sound person again for this scary story. Third of all, it's so nice to have the other Mia, the other Lucy, Tess, Lauren, Rex, and Kaylee to take a break from their phones, tablets, and laptop computers. Fourth of all, it's so nice to have Hobart, Cosmo, Matt, Inez, Jackie, and Digit take a break from what they usually do. Anyways, the rules are the same as last night, or part one. Without further ado, or any calls from motherboard via the SKWAK pop, let's begin. I'll go first. When will the nightmare ever end? It's been six days since I encountered the THX Blue Sky DVD boxed and 12 days since I encountered the THX Sony Animation DVD boxed. But once again, I encountered another THX boxed. I was working my usual shift at Harvey's and, once again, in the dumpster, I found the THX text boxed. This time, it was for Illumination and the characters on the cover were Gore, the Minions, the Lorax, the Grinch, Buster Moon, Gunter, Max, Duke, Mario, and Luigi. In the box set were the following movies, Despicable Me, The Lorax, The Grinch, Sing, The Secret Life of Pets, and the Super Mario Brothers movie. As usual, there was also the DVD for the Lost THX trailer. The title was Illumination Entertainment The Ultimate THX Collection. I was going to not take it home with me, and smash it with a hammer. But once again, my passion for THX got the better of me. So, I took a deep breath, went home from work, and put the DVD into my DVD player. As usual, there was a montage of all the movies featured. Then, the menu appeared with the characters in multicolored boxes and the options, play, scene selection, settings, and bonus features. I then hit play and a warning popped up, reading, warning, the following trailer was made to promote the 2022 release of The Batman, even though that movie doesn't come out until March 2022. This trailer contains graphic violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, I said. Let's do this. The trailer opened with a shot of the lab from Despicable Me. Gru walked in as the minions were doing some lab work. Alright, minions. Gru spoke. Listen up, did you heard about a wild robot? The minions shook their head no meaning they hadn't. I thought not, Gru stated. There is a killer robot by this name traveling across the multiverse, killing innocent people. He's worse than me. But as long as we stay here in the lab, we will be fine. But at that moment, Tex dropped down, holding a fart blaster. The minions and Gru screamed in horror when they saw this. Hello, lab nerd and weird yellow things. Tex greeted. Hey. Gru berated. I am not a lab nerd. I am Gru. I heard you invented this thing. Tex stated. What thing? Gru asked, confused. This. Tex replied, as he started up his fart blaster. Time to some stink farts with the T-Man. At that moment, Tex sprayed the fart blaster everywhere, killing the minions and Gru due to the smell as they fainted. Tex then flew away, but the trailer wasn't over yet. It cut to a shot of a random house in the Grinch. 
the Grinch could be seen propelled from a rope, stealing all of the Christmas stuff from the house. Just then, Tex flew inside the house, causing the Grinch to drop down to the ground and scream. Hello, weird Christmas elf. Tex greeted. Stealing Christmas again? Yes, I am. And listen, Red Robot. The Grinch be rated. Think about all of those people you just killed. I will bring you back to my Grinch lair so that you can be covered in trash for the rest of your days. Sorry, ain't gonna happen. Tex replied. Now, time to celebrate Christmas with Sexy Texy. Wait, what? The Grinch gasped. Tex then picked up a ton of Christmas lights, tied them around the Grinch's neck, hung him at a high point, and plugged in the lights. But the screen cut to black and the sound of electricity was heard, meaning that the Grinch had been electrocuted. But the trailer still wasn't over yet. It cut to a shot of the Moon Theater from Sing. Buster Moon, Rosita, Gunter, Ash, and Nina were gathered around the stage, performing their music. Did you guys hear about a robot killing people lately? Buster asked. I did, Gunter stated. He killed lots people for disrespecting his logo. Yeah, Ash added he'd be lost by Dash. Just then, Ash's sentence was interrupted as Tex walked on stage, with his electric guitar from the second Pixar box set trailer in his hand, plugged in and at full volume. Hello, singing animals. Tex greeted. Listen, Red Robot. Buster be rated. Leave now or we will call the police. Don't even think about doing this. Rosita agreed. You better not kill us. Mina told Texas, is that right? Tex questioned. I just wanted to do a quick musical number with you guys. So, let's rock and roll with the T-Man. At that moment, Tex started to the guitar. Buster and the others screamed while covering their ears because the music was too loud. I also had to cover my ears during that musical number. Then, Tex hit everyone with his guitar, killing them instantly. But the trailer wasn't over yet. A cut to a shot of the Truffle Tree Forest. Dead, Audrey, the Lorax, and Granny Norma were walking in the forest. But at that moment, Tex could be seen, aiming a rocket launcher at the group. All I gotta do is aim directly at those tree huggers and they will be as good as gone. Tex spoke. As soon as Tex said that, the group looked around. Um, guys? A worried Ted spoke. Do you get the feeling that we're being watched? Just then... <laughs> and dying of severe brain damage. The Lorax and Granny Norma cried as they saw what happened. But it sounded like their voice actors, Betty White and Danny DeVito, were actually upset. At that moment, Tex popped up in front of them. Hi there, tree huggers. Tex greeted. Don't call us that. The Lorax shouted. What you are doing to these people is stupid and pointless. I will have you fed to the animals all over the ecosystem. Nice try, but that won't happen. Tex recapped. Time to commit global warming with the sexiest, sexiest, sexiest. At that moment, Tex pulled out a flamethrower and started burning the entire forest with everyone in it, including the Lorax, Granny Norma, and the Morgan Squeak. They screamed in agony as they were burned to a crisp. Also, that line the Lorax said before meeting his fate reminded me of what Grug said in the THX DreamWorks box set trailer that was previously encountered. Anyways, the trailer still wasn't over yet. It cut to a shot of a dog park in New York City. Max, Duke, and Gidget were playing around. Just then, Tex popped up in front of them, startling them all. Oh good. Tex reminded. More dogs. Do you three like tennis balls? Yes, Max stated. But please don't kill us. We've heard all about what you've done. Don't worry. Tex answered as he pulled out what appeared to be a tennis ball. I just want to play a quick game of fetch. Tex threw the ball and the dogs went to go catch it. But as soon as they caught the ball, Tex could be seen holding a remote control. Just kidding! Tex yelled. That ball is actually a bomb. It's time for a dog meat dinner with sexy Texy. Tex pressed the button on the remote control, which caused the bomb to detonate. Max, Duke, and Gidget screamed in anguish as they were blown to bits. But the trailer still wasn't over yet. It then cut to the Mushroom Kingdom from the Super Mario Brothers. Movie. Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Donkey Kong and Toad were having a discussion about Texas. So have you heard about an evil robot recently? 
Mario asked. No, I haven't. Luigi stated. I did. Toad spoke. He killed many people across the world. Yeah. Peach agreed. He does not know where we live. I hope he destroys us next. Donkey Kong whimpered. Just then, they heard faint chuckling. Wait, Bowser's alive? Peach wondered. Just then, Tex dropped down in front of Mario and the gang. It's you. Mario berated. Leave the Mushroom Kingdom now or we'll give you a fight. Tex laughed, ignoring what Mario said. I don't think so. Tex replied as he pulled out his Mukan. Time to get some power UPS with the T-Man. Tex tipped it upside down, creating a shockwave, causing Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, and Donkey Kong to fly into portals that resembled hell. But it was not over yet. It cut to a shot of the THX logo. The Illumination logo letters were seen on the ground. Then, the deep notes started to play. The screens with the deep notes belonged to group, the Grinch, Buster Moon, Rosita, Ted, Audrey, the Lorax, Max, Mario, and Luigi. After the deep note stopped, Tex dropped down like he did in the Mukan trailer. Hello, Illumination fans. Sexy Texy is back at it again, killing animated characters for disrespecting my company. Remember the Sexy Texy rule. If you are scared of me or my company, the T-Man will rock your world. Pleasant dreams. Tex flew away laughing evilly as the, the audience is listening, slogan dropped down on the screen. I was seriously scared at that point. Just like all of the other THX trailers I encountered, I smashed the Illumination trailer into bits and threw in the Hardee's dumpster. I knew that I couldn't keep watching these trailers, at least not on my own. So, I called up someone who has knowledge of these trailers, Davalt1995, who has encountered trailers from Vortex CW, KQED Kids, Netflix, and Hit Entertainment featuring Texas. He told me the next time I encountered a THX trailer, to call him and he would watch it with me. My troubles with THX would continue from here, but at least I would have someone who had knowledge of THX to help me out this time. To be continued. And Dave, sorry if I butchered your username. The end. In other words, as a matter of fact, Tails Land saved the Cyber Squad, including me, as the best for last. Now we can roast marshmallows then go back to our tents before you, Kyle, Mia One, Trickshot, Matthew, Lizzie, and Angela the sound effect cat turn in for the night while the rest of us turn in for the night as well. You said it, Didge. Also, for those viewers watching part 2, we hear Tales Land in Gardens, as well as our special guests attending the session, want to wish PP Rabbit, Kate's son, and British guitarist Angus Gatterblood, a very happy 11th and a very happy 49th respective birthdays to you. And for everyone else, thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 3, where we read Lost THX text trailer a Nickelodeon DVD boxed on the last night before heading home the following day. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye for now. Bye bye. Goodbye. See you soon. Take care. Bye. 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 Goodbye for now. See you again next time. See you real soon. Bye bye. And remember, the Swamp Rapper will always be watching. Goodbye. 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 And as always, see you in cyberspace. <laughs>